Hello, I'm Kyu Jin Cho from Seoul National University. And today, I'm going to talk about our work, RFUSE, Modernizing User Space File System Framework Zero Scalable Kernel User Space Communication. As modern hardware technologies continue to evolve, the design of file systems have also been changed. Since the emerging storage devices like MVM or GNSS SSD offer high performance and unique data access interface, and there have, there have been proposals for new file systems specifically tailored to this innovative hardware. Also, the increase in CPU core counts have required a scalable design of file system. However, implementing these new requirements in in-kernel file systems poses significant challenges. There is a risk of misusing complex kernel interface, and its inherent complexity often leads to insecure implementations. Because of that, it is hard to add new specialized functionalities into existing fire system. Alternatively, user space fire systems are gaining attention in both industry and academia. They offer greater safety because programming errors won't compromise the system, and users can also utilize mature user level libraries and debugging tools, which simplify fire system maintenance. However, user space fire systems often shows lower performance compared to in kernel fire systems. Regarding user space fire system, the most well known software is Fuse. Fuse is the framework to allow users to make a user space fire system. Fuse consists of two main components. First is Fuse driver, driver in corner space, and second is Fuse daemon in the user space. These two components communicate through read write system cores on the Fuse device file. In Fuse driver, there are five types of queues. There are pending queue for synchronous request, processing queue for in-flight request, and background queue for asynchronous request. There are also interrupt queue and forget queue for Fuse internal operations, but I omit these queues in the right figure. Fuse driver and Fuse daemon exchange requests and replies for file system operations. The request and replies consist of common header and op operation specific header. It could also contain additional arguments depending on each oper operations. And Fuse is, is often used to build various user space file system, but Fuse is also infamous for its significant performance overhead. To analyze the latency overhead of Fuse, we performed a, a latency breakdown. For this purpose, we created a very simple user space file system called NERFS which only supports the lookup operation on the root directory. And then we measured the latency at each step along with the Fuse software stack. Initially, when a user space file system is mounted, the Fuse daemon waits for a request by performing a read system call on the Fuse device file. Next, let's assume that the application performs a create system call on NORFS. When an application calls to create, a context switch to corner mode occurs first, then in the VFS, VFS layer, a path traverser is performed all following the path components of the target file to check the existence of subdirectories and file. At this point, the lookup for each path component is converted into a fuse request and they are passed to the user phase fuse daemon. These lookups involve context switch between the corner and user space, so it results in a relatively long latency of almost 200 microseconds. After completing the path traverser, the fuse driver prepares the fuse request for create. This request includes a common header called fuse in header and an operation specific header called create in header. Next, this request is directly enqueued into the pending queue because the create is a synchronous operation. <coughs> Sorry. Then the application thread enters the sleep state until the create operation is completed. At the same time, the fuse daemon retrieves the request from the pending queue, and then executes the appropriate handler implemented in the user space file system. However, this process takes almost 20 microseconds, even though NORFS does nothing but immediately prepare the reply. This duration includes the time to wake up the fuse daemon waiting in the corner driver and the overhead of the contact switch. The reply from the fuse daemon is passed through write system call on the fuse device file. For the 
create operation, the reply contains one common header and two operation specific headers. Finally, application thread wakes up and returns to the user space. As shown in the left graph, you can see it took 200, 274 microseconds for one create operation, even though NordFS didn't really do much for handling the create operation. Along with the lightness breakdown, we also aim to address the scalability issues of views. To measure the scalability of views, we use the FIO benchmark while increasing the number of threads to evaluate the throughput. For this, we use StackFS, which forwards IO requests from application to the underlying in corner file system. The result shows that the throughput of StackFS fails to scale once the number of threads exceeds 16, while the throughput on the native, native ext4 increases linearly. Furthermore, when the number of threads reaches 32, the throughput was almost three times lower than ext4. We believe that the communication through a single pending queue in Fuse prevents TechFS from achieving scalable performance. To mitigate these overheads and support the modern hardware performance, high performance hardware, we propose RFuse. RFuse is a user space file system framework designed to maximize performance and scalability in modern hardware environments equipped in many CPU cores and high performance devices. RFuse has three design goals. The first is a scalable corner, corner to user space communication based on our per core and NUMA aware ring channels. The second is efficient request transmission, and the last is a full compatibility with existing Fuse based file systems. This is the overall architecture of RFUSE. Similar to Fuse, RFUSE consists of two main components. The first is the RFUSE kernel driver, and the second is the user space RFUSE daemon. However, unlike Fuse, which relies on a single queue for communication, RFUSE employs a ring channel based message passing mechanism for each core. This design is aimed at improving throughput by the parallel processing of file system operation requests. Now I'm going to introduce how our fuse works with ring channels. The ring channel is crea created for each core when mounting the file system. Ring channels are mapped to the daemon's virtual memory area through MMAP system, system core. When the ring channel is created, our fuse allocates each ring channel to memory on the same NUMA node as its corresponding CPU core. This ensures that the RFUSE daemon does not access the memory from a different NUMA node while processing requests. RFUSE also supports a multi-threaded user space demo like FUSE, but with different management strategies. For each ring channel, the RFUSE daemon creates dedicated worker thread responsible for handling the request received from that channel. And RFUSE set a CPU affinity of worker threads to match the core ID of their assigned ring channel. Because the ring channel is created on, on the same NUMA node corresponding to its assigned core, this arrangement ensures that worker threads do not incur internal NUMA access during request submission and completion. Also, also, this approach prevents lock contention among worker threads that operate on different link channels. When the RFUSE driver sends a request to the RFUSE daemon, it selects the appropriate ring channel for the delivery of the request based on the core ID where the current thread is scheduled. For example, an application thread scheduled on core number two will submit its request via ring channel number two. Subsequently, the worker thread dedicated to ring channel number two is scheduled on core number two. Since the ring channels are mapped into the daemon's VMA, worker threads don't need to call system code to retry requests from the kernel driver. Also, at this time, because there are no data structure shared with other cores, it is possible to execute in parallel. RFUSE utilizes the ring buffer structure for scalable communication similar to the IU ring interface. But we could not directly use IU ring because it performs request submission in the user to corner direction, which does not align with the field structure where corner to user submission is necessary. Also, as IU ring has its own corner context, we find it difficult to add flexible optimization within the fuse, within fuse structure. Instead, we have designed our own link channel specifically to meet the needs of the Fuse framework. Next, let's dig into the per core link channel. The ring channel serves as the communication medium between the driver and the daemon. 
The ring channel includes a pending ring, forget ring, and interrupt ring. The forget ring and interrupt ring are omitted in the figure. And the background queue is used for staging asynchronous requests, just like in Fuse, but it is not mapped into the demos we have made. The ring channels in our field contest not only rings, but also two buffers called header buffer and argument buffer. An entry in the header buffer consists of common header and OPQ header. The common header is the same as the fuse in header, like we've seen in the previous fuse example. The OPQ header can be converted as any types of, types of operation specific header depending on the generated request. The argument buffer is used for requests that require additional arguments beyond, beyond the common header and operation specific header. For example, operations like rename will use additional entries in the argument buffer because it needs to pass two file names for source and destination. The allocation status of each buffer entry is managed through a bin map. One large portion of fuse overhead is waking up application threads in a sleep state which awaits a response from the user space. For this, in Fuse, the demo must enter the corner context through a system call and wakes up the sleeping thread through the event weight mechanism, which incurs tens of microseconds of overhead. To mitigate this overhead, RFuse introduces a hybrid polling mechanism. And within RFuse, application threads are allowed to perform busy waiting for a user-defined period while awaiting completion. For requests that can be quickly handled by the RFUs daemon, the application thread can receive a reply during polling phase and return result quickly. If the thread in the polling state exceeds this period, it falls back into the sleep state and waits for the completion signal from the daemon. Similar to Fuse, asynchronous requests in RFUs driver are first added to the background queue before being trans transferred to the pending ring buffer. This design can minimize the impact of first asynchronous request on synchronous operation. However, this policy encounters challenges when integrate, integrate with RFU's ring selection strategy. Since RFU selects the ring channel based on the core ID, a large number of asynchronous requests can overwhelm a single ring channel. Read-ahead operation is the one example which is generated by a single corner thread in burst. When congestion is detected in, in a ring channel, our fuse schedules incoming asynchronous requests onto different ring channels in the round robin fashion. This helps distribute the load on the congest congested ring channel and maximize the utilization of multiple ring channels. As a result, it leads to increasing the overall throughput of background jobs. Our fuse is implemented in the original fuse code base. To make use of per core ring channels, we have modified the fuse kernel driver and the low layer of leaf fuse, which handles message communication. However, we maintain the same set of fuse APIs that are exposed to developers. It includes both the high-level fuse API and low-level fuse API. And RFUSE also supports the same splicing I.O. interface as FUSE that enables data transfer between two corner buffers without data copy into user space. So users do not need to rewrite their FUSE-based file system code while using RFUSE. The only thing that have to do is to relink their file systems with lib RFUSE. Next, I will show the result of our evaluations. We used the, the Dell Power Edge machine equipped with 80 cores and PCIe Gen 4 and VMI SSD. The frameworks we used to compare with our fuse are Fuse and EXT Fuse. The EXT Fuse is the extended version of Fuse that uses eBPF for request handling. For our experiments, we used two user space file systems called NordFS and StackFS. NordFS is a very simple file system which only supports the lookup operation on the root directory. It simply returns zero for all other operations. StackFS, StackFS is a stackable file system that forwards incoming operation to an underlying in-kernel file system such as ext4. First, we perform the license breakdown on the RFUSE and compared it with FUSE. We call create system call on root directory of NordFS, which promptly returns without performing any create action. In comparison to the same operations latency in Fuse, RFUSE demonstrates a 
53% lower latency. The substantial improvement in latency can be attributed to three main factors. First, RFUs eliminate the need for context switch when processing requests and replies. By accessing the mapped ring channels without system call, RFUs can retrieve the request to be executed and quickly returns the results. Second, RFUs effectively minimize the wake-up overhead within the kernel driver using a hybrid polling. Because NordFS re returns the result almost immediately after, after receiving a request, the completion occurs while the application thread is still in the polling phase. So it enables quick response to the application. The last factor is the improved time required for past traversal. As I mentioned in previous slides, each lookup operation for the past traversal results in a round trip between the kernel and user space. But because of the reduced latency in processing a single request, lookup operations can also be executed faster than in views. It results in decreasing the overall time taken for the past traversal. Next, to investigate the IO scalability of RFUs, we perform the FIO benchmark using stack FS while increasing the number of FISs. The benchmark is conducted bearing both, both data access pattern and the request size. For sequential workload in figure A and B, both views and RFUs show comparable, comparable throughput to EXT4 while the thread count is increasing. This is attributed to the aid of page cache in the corner. For random workloads, RFUs demonstrate a higher throughput than views while increasing the number of threads. Notably, in the random read workload, the throughput of views stops to scale beyond 16 threads, while RFUs continues, continues to show the scalable throughput. Specifically, at 32 thread counts, RFUs achieves a throughput that is 2.27 times higher than that of views. RFUs shows better scalability due to its, its utilization of per quarreling channels. To evaluate the metadata operation scalability of RFUs, we ran the FX mark benchmark on StackFS deployed on FUS, EXT FUS, and RFUs. The result shows that RFUs consistently demonstrate better throughput and scalability compared to FUS and EXT FUS across the various workloads. In unlinked workloads, we failed to measure the throughput of EXT FUS because it returns errors in our environment. For these three open closed workloads, all the evaluated frameworks show similar throughput and scalability. This is because these workloads operate on a directory structure with a depth of phi, where past traversal becomes the primary operation. Since this operation heavily depends on the D cache in the VFS layer, there is little variation among the frameworks. There are more details of RFUs and experiment results in the paper, so please check our paper. In conclusion, RFUSE is a user space for a system framework designed to support scalable communication between the corner and user space. Our experiment shows that RFUSE can provide high performance and scalability on a modern hardware environment. The source code of RFUSE and scripts we used for evaluation are available at our GitHub. Thank you.